Sometimes I'll let her know she did the right thing. I'll relax my posture, get a little slouchy, and they'll br drop their head. Bring my posture down. You can see if I do that and I direct a little life, a little attention downward, she directs her attention down. See? Good. If I were standing tall, she'd be more alert, head up, wanting to move, move away. Well, that's pretty nice when they start to drop their head down like this. Of course, we simulated bridling already. So let's just see how the bridling goes. Nose between the shoulders, something we already practiced. Drop that halter slowly. See if I can rub the bridge of the nose and the forehead. See if I can direct some attention to me. We'll drop that halter down. There we go. Bring her attention to me slight, just slightly. Put my right hand up here, see if I can have that head down low. Rub the ears. My attention is still up. I'm not just focused on her. I'm able to look at you. I'm able to look at the barn. Oh, her head's almost too low for that. Now, would I always bridle her down here? No, no, I wouldn't. But I just want to show you how potentially that it could be done. In all reality, I'd like her head to be about right here. But sometimes we exaggerate to teach and refine as we go when we work with horses. We'll catch this throat latch. 